Hey guys, Ben Vic here, and welcome to a vlog, episode 20 of the vlog, vlog number 20, if you're still counting. I think it's vlog 20 anyway, I haven't checked, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, new camera, new setup, uh, new times uh, ahead, um, still getting it all perfect, it's not quite perfect yet. Um, I've got a lot of settings and things to change, and rendering settings, and video settings and stuff. Um, but uh, it'll get there and hopefully it's looking okay. Um, yeah, it's a different angle of lens, so a whole different like framing of the video is different and, and what have you. So there's all that to deal with, but uh, we are getting there hopefully. Um, so the vlog, I'm wanting to do more vlogs. It was one of the reasons why uh, I, I did get this camera. Um, over other cameras and upgraded and stuff. Um, I I really want the vlogs to be a big part of this channel, but I've only done twenty out of you know hundred odd videos, so it's not currently. Uh, I'm it's the current rate is one a month, but I'm wanting to do way more than that. So uh, I need your help with that, really. Um, if they're to become a regular, a more regular feature, I need to I need to know like what topics, like regular occurring subjects to put within them, uh, themes, topics, anything like that. Um, currently, I always just do a vlog topic that we discuss. Uh, what's what I've got coming up for review? Uh, I talk about previous review items and how I'm getting on with them. I do vaping news. And then I just do other bits at the end, uh, you know, so I need stuff. And obviously I don't want stuff that other people do, so I don't want, like, juice pairings or retro vaping or uh, beer time or music time or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, so let me know if there's anything. If you don't want to put it in the comments, send me an email. Uh, my email address is always in the description. Um, so, you know, just, uh, yeah, let me know what you want from this vlog because I'm wanting the vlogs to become way more regular and really good, you know, I think there's a lack, I really, really enjoy watching vaping vlogs, but I think there's a lack of top quality ones out there, uh, certainly like regular weekly ones, definitely, so uh, let me know, let me know what you think about that. Um, yeah, so for, instead of like uh, me asking you a question, you answer it in the comments, just let me know anything you think would improve this vlog or uh, anything you want to see in this vlog and stuff like that. Just put that in the comments, that would be great. Uh, I am vaping on the Kafulo V2, which we'll talk about a bit more later, and uh, on this big old uh, Hammond box mod, uh, OKRT10 mod. Um, it's become my sort of desk vape, this, yeah, so when I'm working away on the desk, uh, this seems to be the one that's just sat there, you know, decent battery life, it's a big old thing, um, and uh, what, another reason why it's the desk mod is because you just press that to fire it, there's no locking or anything, so I can just grab, press, fire, you know, vape, pra vape, blah, 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 you know what I mean, so it's like, put it back down and carry on, you know, so this seems to be the setup as well, so this is the setup for the vlog, I've got a coffee cooling down in the corner there, um, so we'll just get straight into it, um, section one, <laughs> section one, uh, you know, what have I got coming up for review, I've got some really exciting stuff actually, uh, I've got the, um, on its way to me right now, I've got the Tesla 100 watt nano box mod, now, um, this is direct from Tesla. Um, looking at the pictures, I know nothing. I know nothing about it, but looking at the pictures, fingers crossed, I don't know if you remember my Tesla 2, Tesla 2 sub mod video, but um, in that in that video I said, uh, in the, the Tesla sub box, um, Tesla 2 sub box, it has two 19500 batteries in it, um, and they're not widely used, so they're not as tall as an 18650, but they're wider, so they've got a similar amp rating um, and a similar MAR to an 18650, and it creates a much shorter mod. Um, and I said at the time, I really hope that Tesla make a regulator device using these batteries, and if not them, someone else make one, because it, it, looks, it looks really good, it looked great, um, it worked great, and it looked great. So. Looking at the pictures, and hopefully, but I don't know yet, it looks like a 100 watt regulated mod that's short and dinky like the Tesla 2. Um, if so, if that's the case, then that could be epic. So that is on the way. Um, quite excited about that. Um, what else? Oh, Alison 
this actually is a two-pronged problem. <laughs> Alice, Alice in Vaporland, uh, they contacted me and said, did you contact us asking to review some of the juice? And I was like, what? No, not at all. Um, I don't do that. <laughs> um, basically, I don't want to encourage anyone, but basically people have been uh, dropping emails to various vape companies saying they're me and wanting stuff for review. Now, I don't do that and they were using like obscure email addresses. Um, the way it usually works is a company will, well ideally a company will contact you and they'll do that by going to the YouTube page and seeing what the official email address of that YouTube channel is and that's the only one that I will ever correspond with other vape companies um, from, you know, so they've been going, oh this is his official address, let's check it out and they're not the only ones, I've had about six emails from various companies um, saying is this you, you know, um, and it's not, it's just some random imposter, I mean, they're not even trying that hard, I don't know if they've got any free stuff, because they're, the, I won't find out, the company that's, that are sending it, or if, they, if they're not careful, you know, will send it to the wrong person, um, but uh, yeah, so they contacted me and said, is this you, I was like, absolutely not, it's not me, it's not even a little bit me, I don't do that, it's not me, uh, I, I think the person was in like Houston or something, it's, it's just, I mean, it's pretty obvious that I'm British, but um, so they they contacted me and they said, um, on that note, actually about the imposter thing, pretend to be someone better than me, <laughs> because there's much more chance of you getting better stuff and free stuff if you pretend to be someone more epic. Um, you know, there must be fifty. 30, 40, 50 vape reviewers more vape famous than me go and pretend to be one of them it's crazy, crazy, crazy idiots um, so yes stop doing that and if you're going to do it pretend you're Twisted or something you know, uh, Twisted 420 or Todd or someone like that it's, come on up your game uh, so they contacted me, they said is this you, I said no and they said well would you review some anyway and I said okay um, and so they are supposedly sending me some juice that's the that's the end of that. That's the end of that. Um, another juice company from the UK, from the Midlands, I believe, uh, called NaturalCloud.co.uk. Uh, they're sending me some juice now. I'm being way more. So I don't know why I'm pointing at you all the time with this mod. All right. Um. Not. Naturalcloud.co.uk got in touch. Um, now I'm being way more selective with my juice reviews. Not a big fan of juice reviews. I'm not a big fan of my juice reviews, and and so I only want to bring ones that are incredibly relevant or interesting to you guys. So a juice that is like super hyped or like a super good company that no one knows of, or a brand new company, a brand new line, something unique. Um, naturalcloud.co.uk it's a fully organic vegan and kosher juice company uh, they have completely natural flavorings and everything in their juice and that's their shtick and so uh, they're sending me some stuff to review as well we'll see what that's like you know uh, who knows what that's going to be like but that's a bit different you know that's a bit interesting especially UK I've not seen any that are completely vegan kosher natural from the UK so they might be the first I don't know but it's interesting and it's different so I'm perfectly happy to you know to do that juice review but overall it's going to be less juice reviews on this channel because I'm going to be more selective I'm not just going to knock out I'm not going to knock out loads of juice reviews that everyone else is reviewing hopefully I mean I, don't get me wrong Martin Parker and uh, Scotch Vic will instantly put those videos up at the same time as me probably <laughs> but um, but yeah that's the plan uh, another thing I've got coming is the Cloudpaw 50 Watt Mini Plus mod. That's their latest iteration of their mini mod range regulated mods. Um, I think they're pretty proud of it because they are contacting every reviewer under the sun trying to send a mod uh, to to everyone. So hopefully they've corrected everything in that. Uh, I'll give it a really thorough review. I don't know if someone else has catches fire what I can do about that. But um, it'd be interesting to see what that Cloudpaw mod is like. Um, I'm a big fan. I've talked about it a lot. I'm a big fan of a V2 and this is technically probably a V3. Um, I always feel like the V1s from China are beaters and if you want a really good one 
the V2. So the IPV Mini V2, got the Billow V2 here, Tugboat V2, that's not the same kettle of poisson. But um, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Uh, V2s usually iron out the uh, the kinks. And so that'll be really interesting to see what that one is uh, is like. Moving along. Next topic. Uh, previously reviewed items. How am I getting on with stuff I've reviewed after the review review, after the hype? Whatever you want to call it. Previously reviewed items. Okay. What have we got? Okay, so we've got the Rem, Rem entry. Rem Atti from Rem Creations. Rem, 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 Rem. Rem. I think it's called the Rem, Rem, Rem. Rem brand, Rem, Rem. Something like that. Um, I mean, play on your name. <laughs> I'll say that, play on your name. Um, got to unlock the snow wall five times because I've just turned it on, pressing once. Now I've got to get it up to 60 watts. Hey! Um, <laughs> might come back to the snow wolf. Maybe that's something for another vlog. Um, so, the Rem Atti. Um, very bold review by me, I guess, to suggest that it's the best budget RDA. But to me, it is, and in my little world, it is. The way I vape, it's perfect for me. I haven't changed my opinion from the review. I'd had it a while before reviewing it anyway, um, so it's unlikely that I was gonna. But it just suits the way I vape so much, and it's cheap. It's £30, it's authentic, it's not, it doesn't set the world on fire with innovation, but it does everything correctly. Great post holes, great chuff cap, great airflow, great flavour, and I can just I can just drip into it and vape, and it's super easy. It just makes vaping so it makes dripping so much more fun when it's like that. And I've just been vaping this in this like this. Which is good. I don't know why I just did that. Um, yeah. So King Cake, King Cake from Vape Wild. I just adore this juice, and it's so cheap. It's so cheap. So cheap. Vape Wild Cake King Cake. I don't know why it's called King Cake because it's a donut flavour, but um, that's their problem. Um, but I love that juice, and I love it in this RDA, and this setup sort of works, doesn't it? Sort of looks neat, and so I'm happy with that. So Rem, Rem, the Rem Atti, I love it. And that's all I've got to say about that. <laughs> um, what else? Evic VCT Mini reviewed this. Clearomizer is what it is. Ain't great, ain't perfect. It's not the best sub-ohm clearomizer, which apparently is the crown. Um, it, but it is what it is. And for a kit, for 35, what was it, 35 quid? 35 quid for everything you need to get going. I mean, it's not, I wouldn't possibly, re rec I wouldn't recommend this to a start because it's got temp control, but if you're going from an Ego, uh, a, a Sigur like an Ego, and you want a proper mod for the first time, or you want a mod for out and about, because it's super small, I mean, look at this. Super small. Um, then, yeah, it's the business. That's one thing I didn't mention in the review that annoys me though. I don't know if you can hear this. It's really noisy. Looking at the audio, you can hear that. Um, yeah, so the Clearomizer is not the greatest in the world. The mod is excellent. Uh, I've updated the firmware and the firmware is boss. The firmware seems to work. I would be careful with each firmware upgrade though. I would let some other guinea pigs upgrade it and then wait a week and then upgrade it once you've checked on the forums that everything's cool. Uh, but the firmware seems good. Um, so I haven't really changed my opinion on that either. Clearomizer is good enough, and the mod is excellent, and it's such a good price, great value. That is great value in my opinion. Uh, what else have we recently reviewed? Oh, the Kafula V2. Still love it. However, I will officially say, officially, officially, officially that um, 
That's the color V2, by the way. Got it all blue and matchy matchy. Um, I will definitely say officially the juice flow control is rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. The juice flow control is fiddly, messy, irritating, annoying. Um, I'd mentioned in the review that it wasn't great. It's really not great. I don't use it now. It's I leave it fully open all the time. Um, to be fair, it's not doesn't it's not been leaking when I've been filling it doing that either. So if it does start leaking, I might think about it. But uh, I'm just using it as an RTA without juice flow control, leaving the juice flow control wide open, and it's being a joy like that. To be honest, really liking it like that. Um, so that's the flow V2, the rage tank. Oh dear, the rage. So much rage surrounding the rage. Got it in RTA mode now. Um, I don't know what I can say about this. It's a, uh, it is a uh, jack of all trades. Absolutely, certainly not the master of any either. Uh, I really like the flavour from the RDA mode, just because it's such a cauldron of heat in there, um, and the extra airflow is really nice. Um, it's not in the perfect place. It's not perfectly designed, but it does it just does vape great. So you can't knock an RDA when it vapes great. Um, the rest of the stuff, the filling method's stupid, the drip tips are stupid, the airflow, I mean, check this out, it's not too bad like this. Check this out with these two open. Just annoying, just noisy annoying, the filling method's stupid and causes leakage. Um, I don't know. It's, it's what it, it was, it's okay. It's okay, but why do you even need three and one? If you want a clearizer, buy a clearizer. You want an RDA, buy an RDA. You want an RDA, buy an RDA. I just don't really get it. I don't think I got it from day one, and that's why it didn't get a great review. In RDA mode, it's great. In terms of flavor, it looks ridiculous, but it looks, or you know, it vapes all right. RTA is annoying. Clearizers, the clearizer heads are, p are rubbish. Nearly said poo then. Um, yeah, so that's that. <laughs> um, right, I'm not going to go through all the juice I've reviewed recently, uh, but I am going to I'm going to give some special mentions. So, in the sample box, I got um, coconut custard. That's delicious, coconut and custard. Surprisingly, it's that's from Fat Clouds Nimbus coconut custard ATVG. That's delicious. Uh, um, sticky rice from uh, Craft Vapory, that's delicious. Uh, Vape Kitchen have a sticky rice as well, and that's delicious. And this is delicious as well. Um, King King Cake from um, Vape Wild, that's delicious as well. Um, I really like uh, the Key Lime Pie from Daddy Eat Smoke Pig, and I really like Black Rice from Token Vape. Oh, and this. Uh, creme de la creme this is absolutely gorgeous um, <laughs> gentlemen reserve from steam co um, if you ever get a chance to get some of this it's all gone look it's all I don't know you won't be able to see but there's a tiny bit left and it's running, it's running out and it's absolutely delicious so those are the real big juice shouts of, uh, of of recent times um so yeah bear that in mind now it's got to be time for world vaping news world vaping news now um I, yeah we're not going to get too newsy in the world vaping news we never do we just sort of talk nonsense but um the things to mention the noteworthy things from the news uh, are that um, there's a new Preveri out? Well, it's not out. Is it out? It's on pre-order now, I think. Uh, a new Preveri mod from uh, Provape, uh, makers of the Preveri. Uh, it's a box mod. It's their first box mod. Everyone's been crying out for a box mod from these guys. Box mods are the thing now. Everybody's vaping box mods. So people wanted Provape to make one, and so they did. Great, good for them, brilliant, exciting. Um, I think they missed the point of why everyone wanted a box mod. Um, they basically just squashed their... Ch I'll put a picture up. 
Um, but I think they've I think they've forgotten why people wanted a box mod. It's they've just got a hammer and hit their tube mod so it flattens out. It's still one eighteen six fifty, so no additional battery life. Um, it's only got ten more watts. Um, it's got the same tiny screen. It's got some plus and minus buttons. Um, look, it will be amazingly well made. It will be amazingly expensive. Um, it'll last you forever. Um, and 40 watts is plenty for most people and all that. But I just think they missed a trick. I, I don't even get what what's in the rest of the mod. If it's got the same, a very similar chip to the P3, it's got the same ba a similar battery to the P3. What, where, what, what's in all the? Is it just a hollowest cavernous box inside? What's in the rest of the box? Could have slipped another battery in. That's all I'm saying. Um, so I'm not, ex I'm not personally excited about that. But if you love the P3 and you just want to be able to hold it differently, then uh, check out Pro Vapes Box Mod. Um, you know. I don't want to upset anyone about that. I know they've got a loyal following, but I, I, again with Pro Vape, I'm lost for words as to what on earth that they're thinking. Um, do, just up the battery life and make it so it doesn't fall over when you sit it down. <laughs> um, yeah, that's 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 that. Uh, the other thing, uh, something we covered in the podcast with Cloudy on the Let's Vape podcast. Uh, was um, children vaping and kids vaping in school. Uh, there was a story in the newspapers and on the radio actually now, and uh, there was a story on there about um, a 14 year old kid who had his mod, his e cig, confiscated at school because he was doing it in school. He had an MPV, um, an iTaste MPV2, I think, um, and a Nautilus. A Nautilus that he was um, stovepiping, no drip tip, hardcore. Um, and he was using it in school grounds and he got it taken off him and his parents weren't happy because that meant that he couldn't continue quitting smoking. Um, I just feel like it's... I think like... I feel two things. Two things I feel about this. The first one is you can't vape or you can't smoke and that's just the rule I live by. So I don't vape on a plane. I don't vape in school. <laughs> I don't go to school. But if I did, I wouldn't vape in school. Uh, I don't vape in the supermarket. I, I don't vape where people don't smoke, really. You know what I mean? I don't do it in my office at work. It's just a thing. It's just a thing, isn't it? it that's just the rule. That's, that's rule one. So whether he was smoking or vaping, he still has to follow the rules, ideally, you know? I know he's a massive rebel, but that's just the way it is. If you can't caught breaking the rule, you face the punishment. You vape in school, that's the punishment. Uh, so don't really feel like his parents have a leg to stand on. Uh, quit smoking in your own time, young man. Um, the other thing is, and this is a personal, my personal opinion of it, um, I don't feel like a 14-year-old kid is addicted to cigarettes. Now, that's controversial, and I bet you all were addicted to cigarettes when you were 14 and all that, but I were, I wasn't. I, 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 I smoked, like, I don't know, started properly 16, um, quit when I was like 18 for like a year, started again when I was 19 and a half, I don't know, and it was on and off and on and off and on and off, and I could quit easy, I could I could spend a whole day not having a cig and then I'd have several that night or whatever, I don't feel like you're properly addicted straight away, I don't feel like, oh I've had a couple of cigarettes, I'm addicted, I think, I think what became very scary to me in my mid-twenties was how dependent I'd become on it and how addicted I'd become to it and I think I tried to quit several times in my late twenties and couldn't and that was the point that I was addicted, you know, I think it took years to actually fully, you know, become completely habitual and addict addictive. Um, so this 14 year old kid, I just don't believe it, I think he wants to smoke because it's cool and now he's decided he wants to vape because that's cool. I don't believe he's addicted for a second and if he is, just go cold turkey for a few days. You're not old enough to vape, so find another way of quitting. I would recommend cold turkey for a week, I reckon you'll be right as rain, son. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I just don't like this, I don't like, I'm really worried about this idea that e-cigs are getting cool and trendy, you know, nothing I've ever done in my whole life has been cool or trendy, and it's certainly not why I'm vaping, um, it's, 
it's I, I'm worried about where that goes if all kids kids at school start to think it's cool. I wonder. I think that's not going to help our cause at all. Uh, I'm not sure what we can do about it, but I'm worried about that. Uh, the long term, long term sort of thing of that. Coffee might be cool enough now. Talk amongst yourselves. Hmm. Lovely. Um, okay, so last thing from the news. Um, the Totally Wicked TPD Article 40 appeal in the EU. Um, we're not going to hear anything apparently till January. Um, which is a funny time for us not to hear it until because I think it's technically in effect in January. Um, the time really to be doing the appeal and them thinking about the appeal is now. So it's really frustrating. <laughs> it seems um, a deliberately long-winded time for deliberation. Um, as it stands, I believe, France and Spain, that's it from January the 1st. So when we're here in mid-January about these rules, are they going to change everything again? I think I'd, I think in France from January the first, that's it, guys. End of end of game. That's how I understand it. Um, I don't think it's gonna work anyway, to be honest. Um, when you've got your own all these governments standing up, and it sound it sounded like they put their case forward, and then there were some comments from governments from throughout the EU, and it sounded like those com comments weren't pro. Are, weren't pro totally wicked's cause, and so if if you've got detractors like that, willing to stand and publicly put on record that they're against this m motion, then uh, I don't think it looks positive. We we won't know, we won't know for sure, and you'll never know for sure. But I don't think it's going to happen anyway. I don't think it's going to have been successful. I think it's just going to be, have been a very successful publicity stunt by totally wicked and. Um, I commend them for what they've done, but uh, I don't think it's going to have worked. So we might be back to square one, but we might even be it might even be worse in January. I don't even know what's going to happen. Um, I think the danger is we all just rest on our laurels now until January. So I don't know. I'm going to put in the description of this video some links to some brilliant advocacy blogs uh, written by just just a solo person's vaping blog, but they do a lot of advocacy on it. But there's a couple of links that I'll send. I'll show. I'll put out a vaping point and another one. Uh, I'll put links to them, and they sort of just daily advocacy pieces and stuff. You know, very interesting. You know, so um, I would say let's not uh, let's not uh, stop thinking about advocacy whilst we wait for this uh, appeal to be rejected. You know, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the last thing I was going to talk about. In the miscellaneous section of the vlog was the podcast. Um, obviously, I do this podcast with Joe Cloudy, uh, Let's Vape Podcast. Uh, it's a weekly podcast. Uh, it's available on iTunes, SoundCloud. There's details in the description. There's details in the description to all... Um, every video I put out, I put the details to the podcast in the description. Um, go and, and if, you, if you get a chance, go and check it out. If you're not a podcasty person... Um, then fine, <laughs> then fine, don't bother, but maybe you can find a bit of room in your schedule to maybe do a rebuild and listen to a podcast, or on the bus, on the train, in the car, um, that's where I, I listen to podcasts in the car, I hook it up to my stereo and everything, it's awesome, um, not my own podcast, that would be mental, but other people's podcasts, so, um, yeah, so if, if you get a chance, check it out, I think it's improved a lot, uh, since day one, the, episode, the first three episodes, audio quality isn't good enough, and we were getting used to it. I think it's flowing. It's I think it's really good now. It's HD audio now. Um, I think it sounds good, and I feel like there's a, a really nice flow to the podcast. A couple of podcasts ago, we had the guys from So Much Vape on Dan and Adam. Um, they uh, they were on the podcast as special guests, and it was uh, I thought it was a really funny episode. I didn't have to do anything on it. I didn't do any talking on it at all. But I thought it was a really really good. 
um, podcast, and so check it out, because those guys are brilliant, so uh, they're really funny. Uh, I'll put a link to So Much Vapes channel, but I'm sure you're already a subscriber uh, uh, to them, uh, so in the description, So Much Vapes YouTube channel, <laughs> so funny, you know, I feel like uh, in this whole, I think there's so many people just putting out standard vape reviews now. Um, and I think that's why other videos do so well now, other vape related videos do so well. So if someone puts a uh, building tutorial or a wicking tutorial up, or they do a video about their experience with Clapton coils like I did, or uh, just anything, a vlog, vlogs do great, vaping vlogs. I, f I feel like these things are doing great because everyone's a bit done with review after review after review, straight down the camera, up close, straight back. And these guys, they don't do it like in this traditional manner. You know, they've got banter between each other, really funny. So the So Much Vape guys are awesome. Obviously, Cloudy's awesome. His link to his channel will be in the description as well. Um, so this this is it. Please go check out the podcast if you haven't already. Um, I guess a lot of you have because it's getting thousands of downloads every week now. Um, but there's always room for more. You know, we'll have you in. Uh, well, there will be a cut-off point where we stop letting new people listen to the podcast, but that's not we're not there yet. Um, not really. I don't know how to do that. I don't think you can do that. Um, but yeah, so yeah, check out the podcast. Um, look out for this new stuff coming in. Tesla 100 Watt, Alice in Vaporland, Natural Cloud, Cloudport Plus 50 Watt. And look out for all that. I'm going to do some other videos as well. I'm really keen on doing other videos and regular vlogs. So let me know what I can do in these vlogs to make them more interesting, make them more funny. Um, regular topics would be amazing, would be awesome. I can't do a beer section because I, t I film these vlogs at different times in the day and I don't want a pint of uh, beer in the morning, uh, unfortunately. So that's that. Uh, we will, I'll leave it at that. I've been Vic and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.